Hello everyone, I am Chibi Joe. Welcome to Momir Madness. We are playing Momir Madness. If you don't know what it is, uh, you get a land full of decks. Uh, I said that backwards. So you get a deck full of lands. Uh, the emblem says you pay X, sacrifice, or discard a card, and you get a creature, converted mana cost, uh, X or... Yeah, and convert a little blah, blah. converted mana cost X. That is a token. Everything is completely random. You get almost every creature available in standard right now. You find creatures that you ignored before. <laughs> Because they're bad. Whoops. Like, this is okay if I had ascending. But, yeah. You, you get some really bad tokens. A lot of creatures have, like, on cast abilities. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we we lost. We this this just makes us lose. Oh, if you attack. Okay, never mind, never mind. I thought that was every turn. Whew, that would have been bad. We'll make a three. Slimefoot. I can make saplings. Sweet. Now I just need to get tender shoot dry out on five. What? Okay. Um, I guess we'll go for a four. Adapt is good. No attacks. Adapt that into a five five and start attacking. Although this is a wall, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get past this dinosaur. Uh, five. I think. Well, we got to try for tender shoot. So. Tender shoot! That's not a tender shoot. Alright. We will skip six and either make a sapperling or adapt this to a five five. He's never gonna swing in with this, so uh, it's almost gonna be impossible to kill. That is dumb. Okay, maybe we will get a six. Maybe we can get our own angel. Uh, we have to, yeah, I might as well just block this like this. All right. Fine, I'll make a six. I don't need the five five right now. When it, okay, explores is good. Um, no attacks. He's gonna be hitting us for five the whole time, but. Ugh. I feel like. Oh man, why can't we get these when it's useful? It's not useful. It wasn't useful for us. We always lo lost when we got those. Um. Well, I'm gonna need to adapt this so that I can block the Ferocidon. And I'll make a token so that I have something to sacrifice. Even though I have this to sacrifice. But I will block the Ferocidon and sacrifice the Sapperling. We're still getting hit for five in the air, so. If I can get rid of the eight fi oh, man. Another really good one. <laughs> 
Yeah, and block this. Kills that. I have to sacrifice something, which is Sapperling. Gains us the life, deals the damage. This is gonna kill us. <laughs> it gets plus one, plus one for each land. It's got its own black blade when it attacks. One, two, three, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay. I think we've stabilized. <laughs> Zatalp was good. Um, yeah. I'm going to attack with this just so I can gain three life. Looks like Slimefoot ended up clutching it out for us for the the Feroc the what is it rampaging something around Ferocidon. No, no. I hate that card. Oh, it's got trample, but I can block eight of it. Ugh. This is. This is so rough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine gets us the comma or something. Okay, well. Back with this. Because it's indestructible, has vigilance. And if you don't attack with it every turn, then there's no point to have Zatalpa. I think we lose because all he has to do is attack with both flyers. And yeah, we lose because we ha he has to attack with both flyers. Um, this can only block. This is the only thing that can block the flyers. And then this just tramples them for pretty much everything. What is that? Oh, yeah. All right. We do not go first again. I'm always tempted to try a one just to get land or else, but there are so many one drops that don't matter. Um, that I just... There's no point. There's more... Um, there's more mana dorks on two than there are on one. So, I have never gotten Incubation Druid, though. I really would like to... What? Choose a color? Choose a... Choose a color? Oh. <laughs> I, w I wish it showed me why I was choosing a color. <laughs> Not that it matters. You don't cast spells in this thing. Diamond Mare. Oh, boy. Sky scanner, sweet. It blocks the two two once, but it also gave us a card. We don't have to skip five this time. If our opponents weren't always lucky and get flyers all the time, we might have been able to swing in for one occasionally. What is this? Okay, well, other wizards. Luckily, he doesn't have any other wizards. I will block. I mean, the sky scanner did its job by drawing me a card, so... Give me something good. What? What? Ugh! It doesn't... See, this is why I wish it had a log of what you actually like summoned because there are some undergrowth things that have zero zero and they only come in with one one counters if uh, you have creatures in the graveyard 
but I wish it had like a log that showed what you actually played. So this says that they can return it. If they misclick, they get rid of this thing. Oh no, they did. They misclicked. Oops. <laughs> it is a you may. So he could have declined. Wooberg online. Beep, beep. Oh yeah, that's sick one damage. Get him back down to 20. Well, his misplay might let us win, depending on how lucky he actually is. Uh, oh no, <laughs> Moldrotha! Oh, he can get lands out of his death <laughs> graveyard. Oh my god. Why is why don't I get all these sweet cards? I mean that's cool and all, but that still doesn't do anything. Ah <laughs> now he can play things out of his Graveyard. Oh. Let's see if he's actually smart enough. He's not playing out of the graveyard? See, if you play out of the graveyard, you're always discarding a land, and you're drawing a, you're drawing a land every turn. So you essentially can make a higher drop each turn without being punished for not having cards in your hand. Oh. And we're going to mill out, even if we can block it. Great. Great. It's wonderful. Creatures your opponent's control. Yeah, he's also got first strike. I wish I had... Oh. I need something to deal with this. That's three, six, seven... Okay. That deals with it next turn. So we attack with everything next turn. Well, except for this. There's no point in attacking with that. I'll just leave that back to block this thing. <laughs> it's probably going to block this thing this turn. This is a Goring Ceratops. It's a Triceratops. So it should have triple strike, right? It's got three horns. So it should have triple strike, not double strike. Okay, not a good, not a good one, but okay. And is it eight? Yeah, eight. That's an eight eight. We're gonna attack with everything and not this. That does kill my flyer, unfortunately, but but it also kills his and his Mildrotha, and that'll kill that. Sweet. Okay. I'm okay with these trades. This is perfectly fine. We still have an 8-8. Eight eight. Gishath. All right, it's fine. He'll have to double block to kill the eight eight, and we will be able to get a nine this turn. Although we could just wait for ten, but I'm gonna go for nine just in case. Ooh, Mulder Hulk! Yes, that means we can get a ten next turn. Yep. Kill that first. We still have the 6-6 six, six Molder Hulk. Aww, poor guy. 
should have waited for nine. But he did need a blocker, so. I'll probably block both of them. And this probably wins it for us. 16, 16, indestructible. And we can keep making them because it's the only thing on 10. At least I think it's the only thing on 10 in the set. We will block the flyer and they can keep their 3 3. That doesn't do anything because it's not cast. Normally, if you cast it, it kills all non dinosaurs. Eventually, he'll realize that he's lost because he can't. He can chump it every turn, but every turn we're going to get a second one. So he's eventually just going to lose. See, here's the second one. Now, I've never seen a game go to stalemate where you just keep getting 16 16s, or just keep getting this uh, Great Worm on both sides and then ramming them into each other. <laughs> so that's interesting, but that would probably make it so that you. Uh... Oh, Polyraptor. Well, he always has a blocker. Because even if that dies, it makes another one. It's not going to be enough, though. We're going to make a 7. Just so we can see if we can get a flyer. I mean, that works too, but... Swing in with these. Blocks with the Polyraptor. Gets another Polyraptor. Ooh. Alright, well, I'm down to 10. <laughs> or he's down to 10. I guess we'll just go for the win. Get another 16-16. Deck with everything. This is... Yeah, he brings him down to nine. Or one. I give him nine. He gets another Polyraptor. He's certainly fighting it out. He's fighting the good fight. But he loses. I'll take five. We'll give him a sporting chance and go for a six. Let's see if we can get bells and lock. Oh no! I was gonna try to give him the win. I was gonna be sporting about it. Oh well. On the draw. This game might as well start at two lands because nobody likes to get one drops and when they do get one drops it just puts them at a disadvantage. Okay. It's a nice wall and it's a form of ramp. We'll get a treasure if it dies. Not gonna go for three, huh? Alright, well, we will go for three. Menace is good. Menace is one of the most underrated abilities in this game, I think. People underestimate it so hard that uh, they just don't think that it's relevant until they just can't block and it's lethal. <laughs> oh, Josh Bess. Four. Come on, Tesa. That's not a Tesa. Discard a historic card and gains indestructible. It's a 
two three lifelink we will attack with that because it's got menace oh no oh, okay well it's it's too unblockable a turn oh that's got menace I see 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 what I mean you don't notice it but that's okay I'll gain three life and then I get a treasure Oh no, I won't get a treasure. Oh, whatever. That's fine. I'll go for five. Five is fine. Vigilance until end of turn. And plus one, plus one. Okay. It's too bad I didn't have any more out, but it's something. This just can't be blocked. And that sucks. And it's got vigilance. It just attacks every turn. Um, I guess we're not gonna block. Do what six? Oh, <gasps> Evra! Yes, yes. Uh. We are going to hold back, block the Joshu Vest, and probably block this. Block this with this. Um, block Joshu Vest with these two. And then we will use Ever's ability when we attack next turn. No death touch. No death touch creature. No death touch creature. Please, no death touch creature. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to preserve our life total. We're going to drop to four. Okay, no. Let's see. We're going to block this, this, and this. So he's going to get rid of the flyer, which is fine. Still have the menace creature. Okay. Drop the land. Next, next, attack with Evra. He's gonna block. We will exchange life totals. <laughs> nice. All right, and I think we'll make a four. We'll make a four. There's a chance that we get Tesa. That works too. Get some extra things. We'll chump this for days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll throw that in front of the bus. Make an eight. Do we want a 7 or an 8? I think I'd rather have a 7. Thornwood's good. No attacks. We need the chump block. Molder Hulk. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotta try to get a 9. Well, we're going to block here, kill this thing. I haven't been able to swing in. This sucks. I think we just lose. Uh, no. I want an eight. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. That that that's big boy right there. That's a lot of text. That's that's the book man. That's the book dinosaur. And he's Yeah. All right. Well. 
Oh, I didn't mean to put that down. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Alright, it's fine. I can make a 9 next turn. I might be able to clutch this out. I probably won't be able to clutch this out at all. Alright, block here. Yep. I'm gonna lose so hard. Nine. There's a comma. Okay. Okay. This is fine. I... If I can block enough damage, I win. I block... I, I'm gonna take... Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah! Sweet! I win! Dep unless he gets a haste creature. If he gets a haste creature, then I lose. <laughs> he could go for a one-drop to get Tin Street Dodger? <laughs> but... No, that doesn't work. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He needs a hasty three drop. That's not gonna work. He needs to attack with everything. I need to throw Zakama under here, Zatalpa here, and this blocks this, and I take six, seven, eight. Nice! Oh, that was a good game. Damn it, he wouldn't let me see what I got on the nine. Alright. I'll take it. It's a win. The higher you get on the Momir track, also, you are more likely to get um, rare cards. So it would be really nice to see some rares or some mythics. <laughs> well, it's a 1-1 one, one unblockable. Uh, 20 more turns. Are you ready? 20 more turns. Less if I can somehow get a uh, another Merfolk. Ready? Here comes Branchwalker. Okay, well, that's also fine. Unblockable by the red creature. Nice. Worth it. Also a red creature. If you attack the creature this turn, enter the battlefield is Yep, okay. Looks like four. Three two flyer, alright. We're getting there. <laughs> With our unblockable creatures. I mean, right now, if we race, we, uh... I'm not gonna block that. If he pumps it, he gets an extra three damage, but... Currently, I am so far ahead that I just need to attack. I think... Arena heard me when I said that... Ooh, that's... That's dangerous. Um... When I said, uh... Why don't you give me any good creature combinations. Yeah! <laughs> as long as he doesn't get any life gain, uh, I should win next turn. Because that's 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah. It's lethal next turn. Put it on the 1-2, yeah. No blocks. Unless he gets a flyer on five. Nope. We're just gonna swing in. Oh, I forgot that that could block. That's all right. <laughs> I 
Still had lethal, that's fine. Excuse my birds. It appears that they have just woken up. Big game hunter. Lalo code. Alright. Yeah, we'll attack. <laughs> we'll gain two life. Get rid of his creature. We're ahead. Alright. Okay, a tapper. Crab. Crab. Wish coin crab. Almost looks like the crab from uh, Moana. Is that? Yeah, that that that's the name of that girl. Ooh, that's good. That is a good for him. It is not good for us. Uh, can block an additional creature. Interesting. Well, I can unblock everything so far. Still at a stalemate. Crab. Ooh, what's that? Immortal Phoenix. Interesting. That's an expensive phoenix. Usually phoenixes are like three mana, four mana at most. That's six. Speaking of six. <laughs> Colossal Dreadma. Sure, I'll take it. And you can throw the dinosaurs under it. I'll two for one him, that's fine. Ferocidon. I could block it, but I can't kill it, so I'll just take the five. Ferocidon. Ooh. Okay. Well, we're gonna wait another turn because we just got that. And then we'll swing in with everything. Because double strike is boss. We're gonna have to figure out Azatalpa. We're gonna have to block the Zatalpa. Alright. Um six, seven, eight. Four runners. That's eight, right? That is not four runners. Yep, that does block that one. I guess I should have been more careful about that. Yep, that doesn't get through. It doesn't have... It has way too much health. If he doesn't block anything else... Okay, there we go. I think he'd block the Ceratoc. Ceratops? Oh, it's going to hit twice. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is going to die anyway. Uh... We'll get rid of a land. Three, six, seven. Yeah, seven's fine. Okay, we lost. Oh wait, it's good shaft. No, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. We still lost. That's five and eight. 
Yeah, we lost. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it for this video. We got three wins. Let's see what we got. No rares. This is good. I like this one. Not too bad. I'm still 50 away from being able to pay back my my Momir. But, uh, yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Come back for more gaming videos of various types. Check out the rest of my channel, and hopefully you enjoy some of the playthroughs on there. Thanks for watching. Bye.